Hey there, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at creating flowcharts, or some people might call them mind maps in Inkscape. Essentially, what you're seeing here on this tweet here is a GIF of connecting two objects. So you can see this point here gets drawn to another point. And once those connections are made, then you can actually move those objects around and the line automatically adjusts to keep that connection information. Now, one thing to note here is the features being released in the 1.1 version. Now, I believe some of the older versions actually have this feature, but some of the bugs might have been worked out in this newest version. So if I flip over here to Inkscape, and let me just pull over the window here. So you can see I have the About section here, and I'm using the 1.1 dev version. So there's not even a 1.1 stable release at the time of this video, but I've installed this version so I can look at that feature. Now, if you want to know how to install this development version, we're releasing a video showing how to install that version next week. So stay tuned to this channel for that if you're interested. And let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a couple objects on the page. I'll grab this circle tool here and I'll just draw a circle. And then maybe I'll draw a couple smaller circles. So I'm going to grab this and I'll just copy it. So control C, control V, and I'll paste a couple circles like this, and maybe let's even get some rectangles in here. I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and I'll copy and I'll paste that a couple times as well. Okay, so we have some circles, we have some rectangles, maybe this could be smaller actually. Let's do this, shrink those down and let's get these in a line. So I'm going to open up my align and distribute panel. So if I click on this little arrow on the bottom, I can go to align and distribute and I can put these all in a line like that and then I can make sure the space between them is even like that. So we have something like that. And I'll just drag all these over here. Now we wanna draw a line from this main circle here down to these secondary circles and rectangles down here. So this tool over here looks something like this. It says create diagram connectors. If we select that, we can actually start drawing these lines. So as you hover over objects here, you'll see that there's a little node in the middle that gets displayed as you hover over the object. So if you go to this node here and you click on it, you'll see the line starts getting drawn from that center point. And as you hover over different nodes here, you'll see that the line gives you those options here. So for instance, if we want to connect to this object here, I would just click on that center node and then that object gets drawn in between here. So you see it goes from the edge here to the edge there. Now, if I were to grab this individual object here and move it around, that line moves with it. Let me make this a little clear by changing the thickness of this line. So I'm gonna actually select that line here and in my fill and stroke panel, which I have open here, I'm going to go to stroke style and you see the width of this line here is 0.265. So let's just increase that a bit. So it's a little over 10 now, maybe it's a little too much. Something like seven might be good. So now if I move this object or this starting object, it moves that line with it. So that connection has been made. Now keep in mind, you can change how this line is displayed. So for instance, if I select this line here, and I select this Create Diagram Connectors tool again, I can change this so it avoids other objects. So I can choose some options like this, and it'll actually curve around those other objects. I'm just gonna unselect that now. Okay, so let's align these again. I'm going to select these objects here. I'll do my Align and Distribute one more time. Okay, and let's draw a couple more lines. I'm going to go to the Diagram tool. I'll come from this main object and I'll draw lines to these other objects. I'm going to do another one here. And now all those connections are made. So we could move these objects around together. You can see those are made, or we could move things around individually and those connections are made. So one thing I wanna do here is let's come and let's select just the lines now. So when I hover over that, I'm selecting everything. I'm just going to shift click to unselect the objects that I selected down here. So now we just have the line object selected. And let's come back here to our stroke style and let's change the thickness of these together. So I'm gonna move these all up to about seven. We could even change the style of these. So if we want to make this look like this is flowing into different objects, we could put arrows on the ends of these. So if I come here and where the markers section is, if I go to the end here, I can choose some of these arrows. I could do something like this. Those arrows are rather big, so I can come down and maybe choose some smaller arrows, something like this. And maybe we want the line to be a dashed line or a dotted line, so we could do something that looks like this. And you could play around with different styles here to get it exactly to your liking, but 
the main point here is that these objects are tied together with a relationship. Now I could even come and I could draw a custom object. So I could grab my Bezier tool and I could just draw whatever shape I want here. So let's make it look like little teeth or something. And let's just connect that. And let's give it a green color here. Now, if I come back down to my diagram tool, you'll see that there's a node somewhere in the center of my object. So it tries to find the center of your object there, and then you can connect these objects the same way that you connect something else. Again, you can increase the thickness of your line if you want to do that. Now you can delete these connections just like any other objects. So you could select a single line and you could press delete, and you could remove that connection there. And I'm actually going to delete some of these objects here. So let me delete those. I'll delete these connections. And let me show another thing. So if I come here and I draw a diagram line from an object, and I'm holding down click in this case, and I'm just going to draw it to nowhere. That connection is made on this end here, but it's not made anywhere to another object here. So it's just sitting on the background. So if I move where this main object is, the point on the background will stay connected there, but this object will move around here. Again, let me make this line a little thicker so you can see what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna increase that. And you see that that point in the background stays, but the object moves around it. So that's cool. Another thing we want to do is draw a connection to some text. So let me grab the text tool over here. I'm going to click the A icon. And I'm just going to click and drag a box here to get a little section and say, this is a custom text section of varying length. Okay, so now we have a text box here. And what we want to do is we actually want to give this text box some background. So I'm going to draw a rectangle around it of a similar size. So I'll just draw approximately something like that. And then I'm going to hold down page down so it goes to the back there so I can see the text. And then I'm just going to actually select the text here one more time so you can see this inner box here. And I'll give it a white color so it pops on the background. And then I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select the rectangle as well. So now both the rectangle and the text are selected. And if I come up here to text, I can say flow and frame. And now this text will flow in the frame of this object. So if I grab the object here, I can move this around and the text moves with it. If I resize the object, the text moves with the length of it. And we also have a node here tied to this rectangle object where we can connect it to something like this main node. So let's go back to our diagram tool. And let's hover over this. You can see that that node appears in the middle there. I can click and I can bring it up to that main node there. And let's just change the style again, make it a little thick. We'll give it an arrow. And now we have that relationship. Hopefully this video helps you make all sorts of flow charts and mind maps. If this was helpful to you, please give the video a thumbs up just so YouTube knows to share with other folks. And as always, subscribe to our channel so you can stay tuned for more content like this in the future. All right, thanks, take care, and we'll see you soon.